Effective Teaching Methods. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about teaching methods that can help you improve your students' learning outcomes. As a teacher, your goal is to create an engaging and effective learning environment for your students. With that said, let's dive in and explore some of the most effective teaching methods that can help you achieve your goal. Active Learning. Active learning is a teaching method that focuses on getting students involved in the learning process. This method requires students to participate in various activities and exercises, which can enhance their understanding of the subject matter. Some examples of active learning techniques include problem-based learning, group discussions, role-playing, and hands-on activities. Problem-based learning involves presenting students with a real-world problem and requiring them to solve it using their knowledge and skills. This method can help students develop critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, and improve their ability to apply what they have learned. Group discussions and role-playing activities provide students with an opportunity to engage with the material and share their ideas with their peers. This method can help students develop their communication skills, teamwork skills, and enhance their understanding of the subject matter. Hands-on activities involve students in practical activities that can help them develop their motor skills and enhance their understanding of the subject matter. These activities can be anything from science experiments to art projects. Differentiated instruction. Differentiated instruction is a teaching method that recognizes the unique learning needs of students. This method involves creating a variety of teaching materials and using different instructional techniques to accommodate the varying needs of learners. Teachers can differentiate their instruction by providing different levels of difficulty, varied instructional methods, and varying pacing. For example, a teacher may provide additional resources for students who are struggling with a particular concept. They may also use visual aids, such as diagrams and videos, to help students who are visual learners. Furthermore, a teacher may vary the pace of instruction to accommodate students who need more time to process information. Collaborative learning. Collaborative learning is a teaching method that emphasizes the importance of working together and sharing ideas. This method involves students working in groups to complete a task or solve a problem. Collaborative learning allows students to learn from each other, develop social skills, and enhance their critical thinking abilities. Teachers can incorporate collaborative learning into their instruction by assigning group projects, peer reviews, and cooperative learning activities. For example, a teacher may assign a group project that requires students to work together to research and present information on a particular topic. Technology-enabled learning. Technology has transformed the way we live, work, and learn. Technology-enabled learning involves using digital tools and platforms to enhance the learning experience. Some of the technology-enabled learning methods include e-learning, gamification, blended learning, and flipped classroom. E-learning involves using online resources and tools to deliver instruction. This method can help students learn at their own pace, and it can provide students with access to a wide range of resources. Gamification involves using game-like elements to make learning more engaging and fun. This method can help to motivate students and make learning more enjoyable. Blended learning involves combining online and in-person instruction to create a more dynamic and interactive learning environment. This method can help teachers to provide students with a flexible and personalized learning experience. Flipped classroom involves reversing the traditional model of classroom instruction. Students are given access to online resources, such as videos and lectures, outside of class time. During class time, students work on projects and activities that reinforce what they have learned. Personalized learning. Personalized learning is a teaching method that focuses on tailoring the learning experience to the individual needs and preferences of each student. This approach involves using data and analytics to identify the strengths and weaknesses of each student and creating a personalized learning plan for them. This plan may involve providing students with access to different learning resources, adjusting the pace of instruction, and providing individualized feedback. Teachers can incorporate personalized learning into their instruction by using adaptive learning technologies, such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. These technologies can analyze students' learning patterns and provide personalized feedback and recommendations. Moreover, teachers can provide students with opportunities for self-directed learning, such as independent research projects and inquiry-based learning. This approach allows students to take ownership of their learning and pursue their interests. In conclusion, there are many effective teaching methods that can help you create an engaging and effective learning environment for your students. Active learning, differentiated instruction, collaborative learning, technology-enabled learning, and personalized learning are just a few examples of these methods. 
As a teacher, it's important to choose the method that works best for you and your students. By implementing these teaching methods, you can help your students develop critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, and enhance their understanding of the subject matter. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Kindly like, comment and subscribe.